Hey, what's her last boyfriend do? He was like, hey, baby, I feel like having pizza tonight. Shut up, bitch, we having popsicles. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what's for dinner tonight? Brain freeze, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up shit, y'all. Dating is crazy, man. Dating on Tinder. Anybody on Tinder? Anybody? Nobody. <laughs> you been on Tinder before? I think, uh... I think uh, I think I seen Amy on Tinder a couple times. Uh, 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 <laughs> I know you did it. They do crazy ass shit on Tinder though. They'll like you know like they they'll say anything on Tinder. Like first I looked on one of them. They were like uh, uh, if you're not looking for a serious relationship, don't swipe up, bitch. Nobody looking for a relationship. Nobody get married on Tinder. All right. <laughs> That's the first thing. And she came up there. And she was like, then she was like, uh, uh, I only want a real man. I'm a bus driver. I make my own money. I got three kids and one on the way. So if you can't deal with that, swipe left and what, bitch? I know you couldn't handle responsibility. You a bitch anyway. I'm like, hold on, bitch. I was like, man, yeah, it's like right though. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like now I gotta walk. I gotta take a pregnant bitch out. Yeah, we trying to start a nursery in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, you feel this shit. <laughs> you dated a pregnant chick before? Nah, she tried to just recently. Oh, uh, how you how you get out of? What? <laughs> you said fuck this shit. I'm not calling you back ever again. Right. Shit. I had a girl tell me. She told me I kiss a little too more passionately than what she thought. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I thought women like you to kiss with passion. So I switched it up on them. Next time I went to kiss her, I was like, mwah. Now get the fuck out of my face. I'm like, no, fuck. She was like, oh shit. She was like, yeah, I take the passion back. I think, right. <laughs> yeah, she wanted it back then. Hey, well, man. Juneteenth is popping off, y'all. Y'all make sure you go to Juneteenth, y'all. We got a holiday. Another holiday, y'all. Yeah. We got another July 4th. Three weeks before July 4th. I like that. <laughs> but you know, everybody got one question about Juneteenth. Everybody got the same question. Do we get off work for this shit? Yeah, that's all that matters. We don't give a damn. Hey, as long as I get off work, as long as I have to work that eight hours, I'm cool. I will celebrate your shit. It don't matter what it is. It can be planned day. You get out work today, I'll celebrate that shit. <laughs> Niggas will celebrate can day. I'm telling you, that it'll be Nike robes and Gucci hoods all over the hood. I'll be out there grilling. Before I let go now. <laughs> like, damn, that's a good ass holiday right there. Yeah. Celebrating the end of slavery, y'all. The real end of slavery, man. I know I was uh, sitting over there smoking with my homegirl during uh during Juneteenth. And so she gonna turn to me and yell out, hey, Renard, you think they had comedy shows during slavery? Hell yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm like, what? I don't know. I'm like, what, what do you think? You think, yeah? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, what y'all think? Y'all yeah. think they had comedy shows during slavery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet they did. I bet it was somebody funny and shit. I bet it was a Richard Pryor ass motherfucking slave on the plantation. <laughs> Roasting masters ass every time he walked away. <laughs> bet he was. <laughs> yeah. I bet, cause you know, sometimes when life is fucked up, you gotta laugh to keep from crying. Am I right? You got to. Uh -huh. I bet it was. I bet you, you know, I bet we could probably do a slave comedy show in here tonight. We could. Y'all wanna see a slave comedy show? Uh -uh. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it. For well, those y'all did clap, fuck y'all, we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Alright y'all, we got a great show for y'all tonight, this evening. We got a wonderful show. We want to welcome everybody to the first annual Death Slavery Jam. <laughs> we got a great show for y'all tonight. Tonight the headliner for the night is Two Chains. <laughs> Two Chains. <laughs> but before we bring him up, we're gonna bring your host out. He's a very funny guy. He's been auctioned off like eight times. <laughs> you see him on slave ships. <laughs> you see him on whipping posts. <laughs> Y'all make some noise for my man, Mr. Kunta Kinte! <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, Y'all make some noise. How y'all doing? He's sitting my tired ass down. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Oh, okay, I see some of y'all looking at me funny. Some of y'all tripping about my foot being gone. But you know, what it was, the thing about it was, Master, he thought he had me. You know, but what he didn't realize 
was that, damn it, I got diabetes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to lose this foot anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> I tell you one thing, I bet no can't nobody beat me in hopscotch in this bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard out here on the slave, y'all. I'm telling y'all, man. Let me ask y'all a quick question. How many of y'all got kids? Mm -hmm. That ain't related to master. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll tell you, master, see my wife one more time. I'll beat you out of somebody, boy. <laughs> I'm just glad to be out here with y'all, man. My first time being out amongst the people in a while. Uh, Are you free? Yeah, not, not, not yet. I just got on field arrest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they called me. I was slinging that white, you know what I'm saying? Had the cotton for the low, you know what I'm saying? Had everybody pillows fluffy as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But you can't keep a good slave down, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. You can't keep a good with that. Let me ask y'all something, man. Uh, I got to get up out of here, though. But uh, I'm going to let y'all know I got a, I got a meeting with some white folks after this. Uh, they said they're going to help me save my money. Yeah. They said they're going to hook me up with a 401 KKK plan. So, hey, y'all, that's my time, y'all. Y'all make some noise for Kuta KK, y'all. Kuta KK! I hate you so much. I'm telling y'all, man. It was somebody funny. Shut up, man. Thank you, man. Good shit, man. Music is good, man. I like that music, man. She brought me up to that Pooh Shiesty. I heard Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. Back in blood, hey, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know what the no. fuck. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, are you beefing with Eartha Kid, nigga? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kid threw me off. He said, hey, I ain't got nowhere to go. I done shot up everywhere it was. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you shot up everywhere? I bet the motherfucker he beat with was at home watching like, okay, nigga shot up TJ Maxx, uh, Planet Fitness, he shot up everywhere I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, that's my time, y'all. My name is Bernard Hurst, man. Y'all enjoy y'all time. <laughs> Balls on the forehead. <laughs> Not saying there's anything wrong with the 